Sidwana Bay, South Africa, is among the premier dive sites in the world. As divers and snorkelers around the world know, few things rival the experience of seeing a sea turtle up close. In this video, we share four different individuals, as well as a beautiful ray. Dive master Brendan Speck has shared this footage and his dive experience with us. The reef has an incredibly dense coral cover and wide diversity of fish, crustaceans, and more than 1,200 species have been recorded in this area. Sidwana Bay is home to the southernmost tropical coral reefs on the planet, which are further south than the Great Barrier Reef. As mentioned, the dense coral cover on this reef ensures all kinds of fish species to be seen. This is a green sea turtle. As you can see, it is very relaxed and not phased by the excitement the divers felt by seeing it. Green sea turtles are most abundant in tropical climates, but some individuals have been spotted as far north as Canada and in the Western Arctic and the British Isles in the east. Green sea turtles tend to have good vision, well adapted to a life at sea. On land, however, the sea turtles are nearsighted because the lens in the eyes are spherical and adapted to compensate for refraction underwater. Sea turtles have no external ear and only one ear bone called the columella. With one ear bone, the turtles can hear only low frequency sounds. Sound can also be detected through vibrations of the head, backbone and shell. Here we have a second green turtle seen on the dive. He was resting. Did you know that turtles can rest or sleep underwater for several hours at a time? During routine activity, green sea turtles dive for about four to five minutes and surface to breathe for one to three seconds. Any experienced diver knows to explore the various crevices and caves for sea creatures. Here we have a blue spotted ribbon tail ray. It's easily identified by its coloration. As you can see, they have a prominent set of yellow eyes that protrude out above the body. Being nocturnal feeders, during the day they are usually seen hiding under the overhang of corals, like this one. As you can see, the third green sea turtle seen here was incredibly relaxed and not phased by the paparazzi attention at all. The lower surface of the nasal passage has two sets of sensory cells called the Jacobson's organ. The turtle can use this organ to smell by pumping water in and out of its nose. This green sea turtle appears to have some damage on its shell, possibly from contact with the rudder of a boat. As adults, a green turtle is the only sea turtle that is a strict herbivore. However, it is interesting that the diet of a green turtle changes with age. Juveniles are carnivorous, but as they mature, they become omnivorous and then finally herbivores. It is feeding on the reef in the company of a tarry hogfish, a species of rasa. Of the seven species of sea turtle, two are critically endangered and the rest are classified as endangered or vulnerable. We hope to see global changes that benefit our oceanic plants and animals so that we can all experience an ocean safari in the future. Thank you for watching. You're welcome to share and comment on this video. Please subscribe to our channel for future content.